For the first time in my life, I went to a Lego store and I got the bricks to prove it. Good day, my Lego people. Down the bricks here. Thank you for tuning in. That's right. For the first time ever, I got to go to a Lego store. And not just one Lego store, I went to three Lego stores. So, as I mentioned in a previous video, I went down to Brisbane for a week to see my mum. And you wouldn't believe it, got in the plane in Cairns, weather was actually pretty nice, landed in Brisbane, and holy dooly, I walked out in the airport and got hit by a brick wall of humidity. It was so hot, so little did I know, I was walking into a heat wave, so she was, yeah, bloody hot all week. So the reason for me to go to Brisbane was just basically to catch up with family, but mainly to spend a week with my mum. So I wanted to, my mum's in a wheelchair, and because it was so hot, and I wanted to get her out somewhere, so we decided to go to a shopping centre. So I took her to Chermside Shopping Centre, and holy dooly, I drove into the car park there, and uh, I was just so daunted, I didn't even know where to go. <laughs> It was, that shopping centre is absolutely huge. We were there for four hours and yeah, I don't think we hardly saw any of it. But we walked out and I said to my mum, we're never going to find the Lego store in here so we won't even bother. We walked around the corner and bang, it was right there. <laughs> Couldn't believe my luck. So yeah, checked out the term side. So what I think my first ever experience, well... I pretty much knew what to expect. I've seen plenty of videos on it and, uh, you know, I can use my imagination. <laughs> but um, the biggest thing was basically just getting to see all the Lego sets together. I mean, I've never seen that much Lego in one place in my life. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> yeah, it was just great seeing all the sets laid out. I was actually a little surprised that I didn't see some of the sets that I thought I would. So um, we'll, we'll touch on that a little bit more later on. But the one thing I really wanted to do was fill a pick-a-brick cup. All this time, all I've ever wanted to do is go into a Lego shop and fill a pick-a-brick cup. But guess what? They don't do cups anymore. <laughs> they do boxes. But that's all right. So I, I got to do that. Um, We'll have a look at that in a moment. So basically, um, I just wanted to show you what I got from the store. So, so that that's one shop. I got two. A story for two more shops that I went into. Um, just to break it up a little bit, though, I think I'll just show you something quickly here that me mate Mark sent me, and I just want to show you. Look at this goodness he sent me. Boat parts, woo, woo, woo. and in dark brown too. Look at that. That's a that's a pretty rare part now to get boat parts in and uh, and then there's this one here which I don't know what boat that's from so if you know what this is from so I'll take it that is yeah so that looks like it's all one piece there maybe or is that just a regular boat piece I suppose it doesn't matter so there but yeah this molded in grey and, and brown let me know. But yeah, thanks Mark. Appreciate that, mate. Um, okay, let's get back. Let's get back to the Lego store. So, I spent some time in there trying to master to get as much into these as possible. And um, even the staff commented, you know, how well I'd done. <laughs> but, I did leave some bricks behind because you can fit more in here than what I did, which I discovered when I went to the next Lego store. So I think what I'll do, I'll just see what that noise is. It is just starting to piss down rain. Um, how about I show you what I got from each store and then I can tell you about the next store, which was a, a really big Lego shop. So that, that one was an eye opener. But let's have a quick look. I've got a container here. I'll just make sure, yeah, this was the the right shop. So if you have a look here, let me show you if I go tipping them out. Let me show you here how I got these all packed in. And of course, yeah, depending on what bricks you want and um, what shape and how much you can fit in. But you can see around the top here that, it might be easy if I point there, I had another brick space. I could have laid more bricks on top. But anyway, <laughs> beggars can't be choosers. 
So this, uh, this is the big box. So before you had the big cups and the half cups or whatever they were. So you got two box sizes. Uh, this one is $33. So let's have a look at what I got here. So we got, I'll show you. So that was one. And this is the other one here. So just to show you a little bit of how I packed it all in there. Okay, let's tip all that out. Right, so I got, which if I had realised I could lay another layer down on top of the boxes like that, I would have got way more of these. So white log bricks. So I think it was 19, a stack of 19 high goes in the box. So, uh, so I got, all right, they're all falling out. So I got a heap of, well, not a heap, but I got a, a fair few log bricks. Go into another container. I got one stack, six long 2B6s in light blue, grey, and tan. And then most of the other stuff, I got a few lots of 2B4s in green, a little bit more, and then a heap of 2B4s in black. Now, that was really. The only bricks I could see, I probably, I, you yeah, know, I'm kicking myself I didn't get more white log bricks. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, but these, you know, black bricks using, you know, to stack up behind mountains or whatever, you know, like, I, I know I can use, like, if I, ha if I had the choice between black or dark blue grey, I would have got dark blue grey, but black is still good enough. So, the other one I did get, which I wanted to get some clear bricks, but the best thing they had was these clear windows. And I like having these to use for um, stands. So I can, you know, I can mount ships on them or whatever when I'm doing displays. Um, I like using bricks. The windows are a bit flimsy, but at a pinch, you can get away with it. All right, so that was the two boxes there. So. That was uh, that was one day. Then another day, uh, I spent the well, probably two thirds of the day with my brother, and he just took me to around to a few places, and he took me out to the Dream World Lego store. Now, um, I didn't mention I didn't take any footage in the stores other than a little clip that I've got here. So when I'm playing it now, I will play it in a moment. Um, because I just wanted to experience it for myself without worrying about trying to get behind the camera and talk and all that sort of stuff. Plus I had my brother with me so he would have put shit on me the whole time. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, so I didn't film for that reason. But like I said, I took a little clip because I just had to get something. I took a photo of the entrance so hopefully you're seeing some of that now. But yeah, we went to Dream World Lego Store and this one was probably twice as big or maybe even a little bit bigger it was a pretty decent sized lego store so um this is where it was a real eye opener just to see so many sets like i said before the highlight was just seeing all this lego together but when it's a massive store like that and i got to see so many things that weren't at the other shop things like the the new venator um the Concord, the new um, Orient Express train. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. So much cool stuff. Cool stuff. Got to see the train built as well on display. Um, you know, but as for buying Lego, like, you know, it's all at full price. So, you know, I try, you know, me, I try and get a bargain <laughs> where I can. So, I try to resist the temptation of uh, buying on release and paying full price and that sort of thing. So as for buying Lego, I wasn't really tempted to buy anything, but it was just really good to see it. Having said that, if you did really want something and you're near a Lego store, that temptation would be there. If you really wanted something, you knew you couldn't get it anywhere else and it was just sitting at the Lego store. Yeah, if you're close by, it would be a temptation. So it's probably good that they've got to catch a plane <laughs> to get to a Lego store. But um, as for the prick, the the prick, <laughs> the prick a brick, <laughs> the pick a brick wall, they did have some rather cool stuff. So I got two more boxes, and these ones are chock full. So. 
I, I got me Max there, baby, I tell you, have a look at this. <laughs> it is completely level to the top. <laughs> so, let's have a look what I got here. So they had white masonry bricks. So really stoked to get white masonry bricks. And I had that little corner left there, so I put a stack of, of one by ones with stud on side, which always come in handy. So let's have a look. So more and more of the white bricks. But have a look at this. They had clear bricks there as well. So I got two stacks, four stacks, six stacks, seven stacks, and you can sit another one down the side there like that as well. So that is eight stacks, nine stacks. So I got a heap, I got a stack, <laughs> a stack of clear bricks. And the other thing, when I said about colour, dark blue is grey, whisker, here we go. Two befores and a whole chunk. Look at them all. Just wads and wads of two, two be twos. Did I say two befores? Two be twos bricks. So mountain building, you know, just filling in behind. These things will be awesome for that. So I decided I was only going to get one box which is lucky I opened the right one. So that was all I had. I went back to looking around, having the final look around the Lego, Lego sets and everything, all the displays. That's the other cool thing, seeing stuff built, sets built, you know, so you can actually have a good look at them. Um, and my brother pointed out there was a little A4 sheet on the wall off to the side and it had on there, uh, for a limited time only, you can get your second pick a brick cup for half price. So of course said cup, but you know, box, same, same diff. So I said to him, well, have we got time? Because I'm filling another box. <laughs> now, I'd already just about emptied out these 2B2s. There are a few left in there. So I went up, I emptied them out, and I took the empty container because it was actually up high. I had to get a staff member to get it down so I could just grab a heap of them. And I emptied it and I took it back to her and because she said before that when she took it down she said oh if you empty it I'll just fill it up again so when I emptied it I took it over just thinking she would fill it up with the 2b2 dark bluish grey bricks again and she pulled out a box of medium nougat masonry bricks <laughs> my eyes just lit up and I said I'll take those too <laughs> so Stacks. One, two stacks. Three. That's a bit of a combo with white. <laughs> I've got more of these one big ones. And how many did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 of these brick bricks. And how cool are they in that colour? So, I mean, that they're going in the Western town for sure. <laughs> I got another stack of clear, a couple more stacks of white masonry bricks. And then uh, more white masonry bricks there. And then I got, and this was the last of the grey that I had to empty out before I got to the masonry bricks. So, whew, that is, when you take them out like that, let me actually, oh, should I pour it all in here? Why not? Why not? Let's do it. All right. I didn't put the windows in here because I don't want to get too scratched up. But have a look at that. <laughs> so, $33 each. But I got the second one for half price, so it cost me 50 bucks for two of them. So, if I had more time, I probably just would have filled up more with these. But, um, yeah, it takes a while. It takes a while to stack them all together <laughs> and uh, pack them into the boxes like that. So, but, yeah, have a look at that. So all up, this was $116. Um, 
you know, a fair bit of Lego there for that. A lot more than what you'd get in a set of that price. I can give you the drum. <laughs> and they're yeah, you know, and they're all big pieces too. There's no one by ones in there. Well, yes there is. There's some one by one bricks. <laughs> so there you go. That was my Lego haul from a Lego store. Um, now as I said there's three shops the day that I flew out I was walking along and smack bang there you go there's a Lego shop in the airport very small of course um, one thing I did see in there which was built was the new museum modular which I hadn't seen at any of the other Lego stores so they didn't even have that set boxed so I got to have a look at that got to have a look at it built so that looks really good um, and they had some older stuff there too and I'm just trying to think I can't Two of the main ones they had the the tree house was was still there and they had the haunted mansion was there as well uh, i don't know if you can still get that from maya though but um yeah a couple of sets there that uh, i thought had retired but they had one one or two of each still sitting there and uh, a few other things were older sitting there as well which sort of makes me think that that is not a real popular lego store no pick a brick wall there at all either so yeah that was a bit of a bummer I might have got some more bricks otherwise <laughs> I tell you what when my suitcase was scanned just seeing that solid brick sitting you know four of these going through I thought you know they think they you know packets of drugs or something <laughs> oh, some bloody heroin bricks or something <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um, yeah so that that was it that was my my experience at Lego stores Ah, yeah, it was just, like I said, it was just great to see. And so, it, the place is just so bright and lit up and everything. Yeah, it's a, it's a very nice place to visit and I quite enjoyed it. Uh, shout out to me bro for taking me. Thanks, mate. Um, yeah, and that's it. So, let me know about your experiences at Lego stores. Put them in the comments. Do you live near one? How often do you visit your Lego store if you do live near one? How far away from it is you? Is you? Is it from you? And uh, do you raid the pick a brick wall all the time? And um, how often do they change bricks out? Do you, do you go once a month, once every couple of weeks or something? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Big thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.